Hey everyone, this is Keen from CrispyPresentations.com and this week we'll be talking about the best ways to leave or give feedback on a presentation. If you work with a team or are in charge of giving feedback on a presentation of any kind, this tip is going to be paramount for you. Now let's start with the worst way to give feedback, email. The reason why email is so terrible for detailed feedback is because slides can move around. When the person editing the presentation is making changes, slides always change order, rendering feedback that uses outdated slide numbers completely useless. The only time this is acceptable is when the feedback is very high level. For instance, only a few sentences about the presentation overall. Now, what's the best way? Speaking from the standpoint of someone who has received countless hours of feedback on my own presentations, the best way to give feedback to someone is by leaving notes on individual slides. This can be done in PowerPoint itself using shapes or by adding comments directly to the page in a PDF document. This way, the comments with the individual slides move around and the presentation maker is much less likely to want to set something on fire. That's it for this week. Subscribe if you want to follow along or leave a comment for future PowerPoint or presentation issues you'd like to see addressed. Also, if you like this template I used in this video, you can click here to buy it now from our website. Thanks.